Hey guys, this is John from Ecomex SEO. Just want to quickly in this video this morning, just talk about a, a rel relatively new tool we've been using in our agency for our clients and our, our own sites, uh, probably for the last six months or so, uh, and it continues to improve. And the guys behind it are serious, um, serious gurus and SEO experts, um, and it's also got a fantastic community behind it. It's called Page Optimizer Pro, and essentially what it is, is a tool that you can use competitor analysis to optimize your on-page for any site. And the way it works is uh, you basically put your, uh, your keyword in that you're trying to rank for, you put your site in, and then also you ask it to go and scan competitors, and you can also manually um, add competitors in. So for example, it would be uh, let's say you're trying to rank for a keyword and you go to the first page of Google and you would identify competitors, say you're, it's a blog for example or a, a blog for your e-commerce store, you put your competitors in and that might be uh, blogs that are similar to yours on the first page uh, or it might even be uh, other e-commerce stores you can, you can put in and then you let it do its job and, and scan all the data and then it pulls back um, a matrix of uh, results and data and, and gives you recommendations on how to match or as closely match to your competitors as possible. Uh, and it, it works really well, it's really simple to use uh, and the great thing is you start to get results and, and things do start to pop when you when you use this tool properly. So Page Optimizer Pro, uh, pageoptimizer.pro is the URL. And we just scroll on down here. You can. This is the homepage here. Of, oh, firstly, you also get a free trial, so um, that's really cool. And then uh, you pay on a credit basis. The other cool thing is, if we scroll down to the bottom and we go to accredited agencies, and we were lucky enough to be approved as a an accredited agency, which is us right there, SiliconDales.com. Uh, so we recommend it to our clients, uh, and yeah, it's one of those one of those rare tools that comes along that actually um, does what it says it will. So I've just logged into the back end. Just give me two seconds. Okay, I've logged into the back end of a project. Uh, there's a little bit more information to the left of this screen, but I can't show you that because they're our clients. So just um, keep keep it uh, private for them. Uh, but here are the projects um, after you've put your details in. Uh, it's really simple to actually run a project. I might go back and uh, we'll do that uh, before we look at this. So we've, we've created a new project. I've just used the women's shoes keyword and uh, just picked out a site that was on page bottom of page two in Google, or Google Australia. We let it run and uh, do its thing. That will ask us a few questions. We confirm it. Okay, then it brings us to this page and we're going to create a new page for this project. I'm going to put the keywords in so it's women's shoes. Hit next. I'm going to select our language and our region, Australia. Uh, just some other options here. You can use the Google's NLP API uh, if you have the pro account and some other information. Uh, but we can just let it run as it is now. Now it also comes with an, um, a Chrome extension, and if we click Next using Chrome extension, what it does is it opens up, um, you can't see it there on the other screen, but it opens up uh, uh, all the competitors uh, on the first page uh, for that particular term uh, in that region, and it just runs through uh, the process. So I'll just let that run, then we'll come back. Okay, it's ran the scrape, and then it asks whether um, we're going to we can add missing keyword va variations. So uh, these are all the ones that are already added, and then we can um, add more if we want. I'm just going to leave the variations um, for for what the pool the tool actually pulled back. Then we go next, and then do we want the um, a specific page we want to optimize and we do we want the women's shoes I 
asks if you've built the page, if it's a home page or the source code. So that's the page we want to run. We'll click next. And then now we can, uh, this is where we select which competitors we want to use. So these are all on the first page. And the reason you can do this is you might sort of exclude, say, a, a directory uh, or something that's um, not exactly related to, to what you want. We'll run all those one in the first seven. You selected comp uh, selected domains. They've been added in. Then we run, and it always gives you tips and ideas, and, it, and there's some really good tutorial videos how to use it properly. So I'm just doing a quick run through to give you the idea of the concept. So we'll let that run now. Just got to select all these again. And submit. Okay, so it's run the the data and the report and then it pulls back and gives you an overall score and an adjusted score. Now I'm not going to go through what each of them are, but what we can do in this in this video, but what we can do is just go to the view report and then what you can see it does, it pulls back recommendations. So it, it uses this little um, color bar here to give you an understanding of where it's sitting and obviously you'd want to be uh, in the green section. But if you go to each, so that's a summary, you go to each of the recommendations and it gives you really in-depth information about uh, what you should change. So the meta title, add one exact keyword in your meta title of the page. H1, add one exact keyword in the H1 of your page. And then all these uh, further recommendations it gives. Then also for variations in LSI, variations of keywords. Uh, gives you lots and lots of data, uh, lots and lots of data, page structure, um, so you can sort of break it down into the sections you want. Uh, even goes as deep as schema, which is really really cool. And then the rest of these were for the agency plans. So then what you go and do, you use this this to actually adjust your page. Uh, and then you can rerun and it'll give you that new score. Um, we're seeing some really good results. Uh, it, we're, we're still testing um, on a number of different sites and types of sites, so local sites, uh, e-commerce stores, blogs, etc. cetera. Um, it, it really, we find it really works well for the page level. So if you've got a, an e-commerce blog, for example, and you're trying to, uh, to push a bit of relevance and traffic to your product and you're using that blog post to actually uh, to actually uh, push a product and you've got that keyword in mind, then you can actually uh, optimize uh, that blog post quite um, with quite in-depth research to give you the structure you need. So very quickly, that was uh, just a bit of a, an overview or from my point of view of how Page Optimizer Pro works. Uh, you can sign up for the free trial. If you use our link below, full disclosure, we will receive a small commission if you then decide to take up credits. Uh, so, but it's um, it's well worth jumping on the free trial anyway and just uh, giving a giving a, a bit of a run and, and see how it works. Thanks. I hope this video has been valuable, and we'll catch you later on.